Hi, I'm Vicky and I'm here from the Apprenticeship Hub podcast and I've got Adrian O'Neill here with me today and we're going to be talking about the Business Scale Up programme. So, Adrian, welcome. Greetings. Hello. How are you? Not too bad. How are you? I'm all right. Good. I'm all right, thank you. Um, so, we're here to talk about the Business Scale Up programme because you are an advisor on that programme. I am indeed. So, just to start with then, what is the Business Scale Up programme then? Good question. Um, Business Scale Up programme is it's an ESF funded programme, so it's... Um, it's got its money from the European Social Fund. Yeah. So even though we've left, you know, Brexit's happened, the money's still still ours. So if anyone's wondering why we're still using ESF money, then that's kind of why that is. Um, it's still ours until uh, September 2023, as we stand at the moment. Okay. So that's where the money comes from. And it's aimed to support SMEs. So it's for a specific reason. Um, and it's for a specific region. So the region that the ESF money can't leave, if that makes sense, is uh, York, North Yorkshire, or East Riding. Okay. So the money ca- has to stay in that in that area. Um, and the reason is to support SMEs in that area, really. So and it's, it's SMEs being small to medium businesses. Yes, very, very well pointed out. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, um, and it's to support them on their on their growth. So whatever change. they need in order for the business to grow. Yeah, pretty much. It could be that, that that business is maybe not growing. Maybe it's um maybe it's firefighting. Maybe it's struggling. Maybe um it needs to grow but can't, yeah. um, which is commonplace. Um, maybe it wants to um invest in their staff. Maybe they've had a staff retention problem. Maybe they want to improve their staff retention. Maybe they want to um, attract better talent. Maybe they want their team to work better together. There's a whole host of stuff that we can um we can help pay for so this is this is through the form of kind of skills and consultancy so kind of training or consultancy then isn't it yeah so the money is yeah yeah you're right yeah so it is um it's skills training coaching or consultancy or any of them or all of them depending on how much they want to invest in really you know yeah so it's really um it's really easy program it's it's really good program there's not many programs of it like it yeah and so when you said about the kind of the growth and whether or not that means that they're already growing it can kind of be anywhere in the business journey then so yeah. do they have to have been running for a certain amount of years or anything like that is that kind of any kind of the criteria criteria is dead simple they just have to be operating as a business so it could be um, a sole trader at home who started the business last week in theory, we can still help them, or they could be um, um, an SME. So an SME criteria is sort of 250 employees, less. All oh, right, okay. So as long as they've got less than 250 employees, um, they're good. And as long as their turnover is less than 50 million euros, I had to struggle to think of that. I think it's euros or pounds. I think it's euros, 50 million euros. Yeah, I feel like it's somewhere around like 38 million yeah, pounds. Yeah, depending on somewhere. what day I Google yes. it. But it, does, it varies. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, that's, that's criteria. So um, it's dead simple. Just a business that's been operating, yeah, um, with a turnover less than that figure we've mentioned, fifty yeah. million euros or less, um, and they're in the right region, then they are eligible for all all support that the program has to offer them. So um, it can make the difference between that business flourishing or sinking, and that sounds overly dramatic. Yeah, well, no, it's not because people do need that kind of support. There's a lot of businesses out there that are kind of on the brink of that. And, you know, what do they need to do? They need to come and ask for help, I suppose, at the end of the day. That's what everybody needs to do when they're struggling a little. Or... Absolutely, yeah. It can be sink or swim time yeah. um, for some people. I'm, I was thinking this morning on the way here, what kind of, what we're all living through at the moment yeah. and what, what business owners have to deal with on a daily basis that I'm not a business owner, so I'd have to deal with it. But um, we've got, I think we're officially in a recession now, I think. Yes, I think it's been announced officially now. Uh, yeah, we've been teaching it for a while, so that business owner has to deal with the recession and make all those decisions based on that. And um, we have an energy crisis, so we've now got, we're paying higher, higher for our energy bills than ever before. Yeah. We're living through the highest tax burden, I think, in a generation. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got the Ukrainian war on our doorstep. We've got all this stuff that, that, that company has to deal with and sort of make the decisions based on that kind of background. Just on top of the normal day-to-day, normal you've stuff. got to run a business, you've got all of the normal challenges out there and everybody's got kind of a heck of a lot more now on top of the plate for... No, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's not until you kind of sit down and take stock of what's what's what a business has to, has to do to stay afloat and kind of steer the ship that you realise how incredibly difficult that must be. Yeah. And so to have, have, have a programme like this that they can tap into to to help to help make that easier. Yeah. Um 
it, can, it can make all the difference. So what, if somebody wants your support then, what, what do they need to do? How do they get in touch? They have to meet us. It's a brief conversation, really. Um, two things for them to 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 remember. Um, usually when you have to access any kind of funding, you've got to fill in loads of forms. Yeah. And that's always been the case for years and years and years. Um, but with this programme, we've reverse engineered that. So yeah. they don't have to fill out any forms. Oh, that's fantastic. So that's really important for fit folks to understand. So that's the stage usually on folks' shoulders. Kind of, they can relax a little bit and get a bit more comfortable because there's no forms filling. So that's amazing. Um, and the second thing too is it's just it's just a conversation with me or my my colleague. Um, that's where we go through the eligibility. Yeah. Make sure they are eligible. Um, and then we find out what it is that they need. And then that's our job as advisors to then point them in the right direction and, and sort of guide them to the right support. So who's the, the support that you're talking about, who's delivering that support then? So we have 20, I think it's currently 21 different providers on the books. Okay. So these are all providers that have gone through quite a rigorous process in order to be on our list of of, of good people. So they are specialists in their field. So um, they could be um, someone who's a specialist in coaching or it could be someone who's a specialist in international trade, or it could be someone who's a specialist in teamwork, or any number of things, and we can tap into that, mm-hmm. and then um, put put everyone together, and then we'll help them pay for it. And that's available for anybody in their business. So whether or not that's kind of your your very top end management team, or someone a little bit lower down wanting to kind of climb the ladder and help that business to scale up. Yeah, great question. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it could be anyone from uh, so that that business owner who's got to steer the ship through what is turbulent times or it could be um, a junior member of the team who is looking to improve themselves we, we, we can help both it sounds fantastic I know I've been involved in just going back to that paperwork I've been involved in lots of funded projects and that is a nightmare oh, that is a, nightmare. a massive hurdle for businesses so for you to kind of take that away from people absolutely fantastic we, we should the, the advantage should be that we, we will do all, all the paperwork for them um, and then we'll help them pay for what it is that they need and so if people want to see what kind of Subjects, I suppose, are available. Yes, what, what, what training, what consultancy support? How can they find out what's available? Um, they can either chat to us directly. So you can find me on LinkedIn, or you can go to our um, our website, which is uh, businessscaleup.co.uk, um, and get it all on there. It's, it's, it's a really good website. There's loads of information on there you can access. You can book appointments with us through there. That's that's the best protocol, really. And I suppose if people aren't sure, just Give have a, a chat. Yeah, that's what we're here for. We're, we're here to we're here. I know it sounds a bit corny, really, but we are here to help. Yeah. And if we weren't here to help them we wouldn't be here so that's that's what we do yeah well that's wonderful well thank you for coming in and have a chat with us then thanks for inviting me it's good to see you yes you too lovely